Hi, people of ALA. I'm Laura Brown, associate editor at HarperCollins, and here with me is New York Times bestseller, Kate White, and we're here to talk to you about her new book, The Secrets You Keep. For the people at ALA, Kate, could you share a little bit about your new novel? The Secrets You Keep is the story of an accomplished self-help author who has been married just two years, and she begins to worry that this new husband of hers is keeping secrets from her, maybe dangerous secrets. And then a woman who caters a party for them is brutally murdered, and she begins to fear that her husband may have had something to do with it. One of the things I love about this new novel is that so much of the mystery hinges on Bren and Guy's marriage. And I was wondering, in writing the story, did you come up with any relationship takeaways? Not takeaways per se, Laura, but I used to be the editor-in-chief of Cosmopolitan for 14 years. And I was reminded when I was writing the book how important it is to have trust in a marriage, but you also need a certain amount of mystery, Mm -hmm. that you don't want your spouse to be your best friend because it dilutes that little bit of important tension and sexiness and magnetic pull. Mm -hmm. So don't tell him everything. Don't lie, but save some things and create a little sense of mystery. It increases dopamine, which mimics infatuation, which is a good thing. So many of your readers... um, know you from your Bailey Wagon series, but you've also written several standalone novels as well. Hush, The Sixes, uh, Eyes on You, Wrong Man, and Now the Secrets You Keep. Um, And I'm wondering, what are some of the differences uh, between writing for a series versus writing for a standalone novel? The big difference between writing a mystery series and writing standalones is it's just so much harder for me to write standalones because with the the series, my Bailey Wagon series, I know Bailey so well and I don't have to pick up from scratch when I when I start the next book. But with standalones, you really got to start from the beginning, figuring out your characters. And it's just tougher for me. Something that I find empowering about your standalone novels is that, for the most part, it's about an average woman who finds her pla- herself in the wrong place at the wrong time, and she must save herself. Um, is this a, a deliberate pushback against the damsel in distress storyline? <laughs> I've never related very well to damsels in distress, <laughs> and I think women today are just have no interest in that. I remember when I was at Cosmo, I did a cover story on Angelina Jolie early in her blossoming of her career when she was married to Billy Bob Thornton and wore the vile blood around (laughs) around her neck. And I was afraid that there'd be some blowback from that cover. Mm -hmm. Women loved her. They loved that she was kick-ass and she, she, she she just was a really feisty, fearless woman. And I, I remember thinking, wow, women are different now. That's the type of role model they're looking for. And I think it's the type of characters they like in fiction today. So one of the things I didn't know until we started working together is just how much research goes into the writing of your books. Um, for instance, I know with The Secrets You Keep, you went to Saratoga to get a better feel for the town. So I was wondering, why is research so important to your writing process? And, and can you give us a sneak peek into another bit of research that played into this book? Oh, Laura, I love doing research. And one of the frustrations for me when I was at Cosmo is that because I had a full-time job, I couldn't do as much as I wanted to. I just had to do a lot online. And for me, it's it's so important to the process. Now, Harlan Coben once told me that he thought research was a way you procrastinated. But for me, it, it helps me flesh out details that make the book more interesting. Plus, I found many great plot points when I've been doing my research, I think, oh my gosh, I can turn that into a twist. And one of the funniest things that happened to me when I was in Saratoga, I actually saw a woman who I realized was the character I was trying to flesh out more. And there she was standing in a bookstore. So it was great for me. It seems like, at least from our talks, that you genuinely enjoy the writing process, that you really love crafting a mystery. And I wonder if there's anything else about the editorial process that you enjoy. Well, Laura, I've misled you. Oh, no. I I find writing hard. And probably one of the best things I've done is try to figure out ways to make it 
easier for me. And part of that has been discovering that I, I love to write in quiet with maybe just sometimes Carmina Burana playing in the background or opera. I love a flat surface. I, I reward myself with a cup of tea every hour. I don't write too long. And I, I, I borrow a trick that I read from Hemingway. When you finish at the end of the day, Finish at a point that's really exciting for you so that the next morning you can pick up in that place again. So that's been essential for me to do. As the daughter of a high school librarian, you saw firsthand the wonderful things that a library does for a school and its community. And I wonder, how did your mother's job play a role in your own life? Oh, my mom had such a fabulous impact on me and her job. She was one of the only women in our neighborhood who worked. And the fact that she worked in a library was so key. She brought me books and magazines. I can still remember her introducing me to Wrinkle in Time. Mm -hmm. And I used to go to the library to help her. And she would have me set up the displays, which I was terrible at. But it gave me a love not only of reading, but of working. And it profoundly shaped my life. Well, Kate, it has been so much fun um, talking with you today. Thank you for opening up your home and sharing with the ALA readers about your new novel, The Secrets You Keep, which will be available everywhere, bookstores and online, March 21st. Uh, Virginia Stanley, thank you so much and your whole team for the great work that you do. And ALA viewers, we hope that you'll stay up way past your bedtime reading The Secrets You Keep. <laughs>